everybody, it's Jason Saltzman at the U.S. Open. I'm one of the starters here at the U.S. Open. This is my 13th or 14th uh, year working this event. This is a special year because this is the 30th year of the U.S. Open. And uh, just over the years, over the past 13, 14 years, the progression of this you know, and uh, just a really good time. We got perfect weather today. We're at the, qu the, the qualifiers for the Super Pipe right now, which is great because that's kind of what this event's about. It's one of the few events that's open, and you get to fight your way through and end up making it to finals, and you get to ride with your heroes. So that's what this event is really all about. So. And what's your fondest memory from those 13 U.S. Opens? Or do you think so? There's, there's, a whole, there's a whole bunch of them. It's always a good time here at Stratton. The crowd is very interactive. You know, come Friday and Saturday at these events, there's hundreds and hundreds of people. The noise, the music, um, just the, the memories have all been evolving good, you know, for sure. Thank you so much for your time, and yeah. thank you for your service here at the U.S. Open. Tuesday, day two here at the U.S. Open. We're at the top of the slope style course, uh, checking it out. And um, there's Danny Davis. Show you the course a little bit. Check it out, flat down. How is the slope course? It's been good so far. Been good, you like it? This jumps a little bit. Beautiful day for practice. This is probably the best Stratton's looked all year. We're behind the scenes here actually on the 2012 uh, slope style course for the US Open. It's so impressive to watch people that are good do this, isn't it? So. And that's a quick overview of the 2012 uh, slope style course. That's a VIP pretty much riding right on the course with the athletes. Uh, pretty cool experience. Right here, this teamwork is what actually makes the U.S. Open happen here. If you see this, this line, they, they have all come together right here, and they have turned a very hard task on, into more, an easy more, task more. of teamwork. And this is the team leader and building that Burton provides. Uh, the the ability to come together as a a small company and show the power of one. Show the power of one. Oh, look at look at product talk. <laughs> Awesome. Holy moly. You see that? First product toss here at the US Open. And, and I actually got some. Got it. It's probably the only thing I'm going to get all weekend now. <laughs> How's branding and banner crew going today? It's going. It's good. Everything's looking good. Life's happening. Everything's going on schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Trudging along. It's good. I know. It's so beautiful out. This is typical US Open sun. Right. Welcome to Vermont. You don't like the weather? Wait three minutes. What's your name? Mike Chantry. What if, what's your connection to the U.S. Open? Formal, former head judge, wrangler, chaotic control artist, and instigator and maverick. <laughs> Uh, how excited are you to see the U.S. Open turn 30? I was amazed it went to 25. <laughs> <laughs> Which fondest memory of the U.S. Open? Uh, watching Craig and Kidwell and Palmer and uh, a lot of those guys compete back in the day. And even 
Jimmy Scott when he won the U.S. Open and everybody thought the world was coming to an end. For Jimmy Scott to win a Burton event. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. That was, uh, I got a lot of hate mail after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Death um, threats. <laughs> what's your favorite event now in 2012 at the U.S. Open? Uh, washed Up Cup. It's all the old dogs coming back, trying to, you know, Try to be on top again, see who can still rule, you know, see who's got a pot belly <laughs> and can still carve the gates. Thank you, Mike. Still get air. Thank you, Mike Tantra. Okay. Peace or not. VIP tent area over here, mini stage, riders booth, big stage. You can kind of see Sponsor Village coming together. Lots of snowboarders over here in the Sun Bowl. Make it a little easier to lean. I think number one priority is to get big contests. That sounds horrible. I, I... It's the top of the top of the half pipe. It's the riders' lounge. A lot of the riders coming in to get their practice runs. Hey, I'm Philip, and I'm doing the registration and judging system for the U.S. Open. Riders, and they come here, register down there, and then. When the comp is starting, we're doing all the judging system. Is this your first U.S. Open? Um, no, it's actually my fifth. Yeah. What's your fondest U.S. Open memory? Oh, there are so many. I mean, I liked last year's U.S. Open with the whole um, hippie theme and stuff, and I really liked the sounds playing because we were able to get backstage, which was pretty funny. But there are just so many good memories. I can't really just have one sticking out. It's always fun times here. A lot of construction going on here in Sponsor Village. Uh, people uh, starting to construct the Sponsor Village for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's events. Twenty twelve Riders Lounge. Greg Johnson, and I am the competition director here at the U.S. Open. Our main responsibility is making sure the competitions run on time. I work with the athletes. I do the riders' meetings. I help Ian and Maria kind of set up formats. Um, I get the judges for the competition. So, you know, I do a bunch of things, you know, beforehand, you know, as far as organizationally to make sure that everything's on point. And then once I'm here, just make sure that the event runs smooth. So you're like a logistics team leader. A logistics team leader as far as on snow competition. Edition. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Great. How, what year U.S. Open is this for you? How many years? Have oh my you gosh! Been? I think this might be number eighteen or nineteen. Nineteen. So yeah. you've been to a lot of them. I've been and to a lot of them. Maybe like out of those eighteen or nineteen years, do you have one memory that kind of just sticks out a little bit more than the rest? <laughs> um, yeah. I think I think the primary me memory might have been around. Um, I'm gonna say early '90s. When, um, when we were back over on the front side with the mushroom and just having, the crowd was huge. The crowd was on top of the judges container, which was the old mushroom. And that's when Copley was the announcer? Copley was the announcer. With a cowboy hat? Cowboy hat. Snowballs. Snowballs, full effect. The energy, I mean, the hair on the back of your neck was stood on end. The writing was amazing for that for that time, but uh, it was incredible. incredible thank, time. thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Anytime.